everybody. Welcome to UFS Libraries. My name is Kosin Dumela. I'm the librarian at Frick Scott Library. What a beautiful morning in this artistic space. Today I'm with Refil Zim, our librarian at Frick Scott as well. We're interested to know more about you, Refilwe. We know you in the library as our coffee lady, but it doesn't only end there. We want to know more. So the first question I want to ask you, uh, culture shock. Please share to us your very first day at varsity or tertiary. How was it? Okay, um, I'm not going to limit it to specifically my first day. I'll actually sh share on my first year because a lot of things happened within that first year. Oh, yeah. Um, one of the culture shocks that I had, um, I was a student here at this university. And um, one of the culture shocks was I, that I had was actually uh, the tribalism that I experienced. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know. Um, I was actually born. I was born here in the Free State. Mm -hmm. And then we moved to KZN. I mean, Eastern Cape first. We moved to oh, yeah. Eastern Cape and then later we moved to KZN. So that meant I was surrounded around, I was surrounded with Nguni speaking people. So mm. if, you, if you're Nguni, you know that we're more or less the same. Um, it's because it's, it's one group. So they yeah. do things particularly the same. The same yes. But when I came to um, the Free State, one of the things that um, really stood out for me was and I'm not saying that it's true now, was the fact that I had to learn Sutu, even though my Sutu is not as fluent as I'd like it to so be. So what do you want to tell us? Are you fluent <laughs> in Zulu or Kosa? Um, no, I'm, I'm fluent in both Kosa and Zulu. Okay, that's yeah. lovely. So when I got here, um, it was such a struggle, honestly, to speak Sutu. To switch now. To switch into now into Sutu. Because, Sutu yes, now. because um, unfortunately for me at that time, um, I just felt like... It, the, um, Sutu speaking people for me were not as accommodative mm -hmm. um, as I would have liked them to be. Ooh. So for me, I felt like, what is this now? Because that's I'm really trying. That's a culture shock. It is because <laughs> I'm trying my level best yes, to um, to fit in. Yes, and speak right. your language. Yeah. And you know, I I'm not being met halfway. So mm -hmm. that was one culture shock. The second um, during that time, um, I was I was a person who came who came from a family where we were very. I don't want to say particularly religious, but religious in a, in, in a, in a sense that um, you weren't allowed to dress a certain in way. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. So when I got here, um, things were very different. Mm -hmm. People, girls would wear like the shortest shorts and the shortest <laughs> dresses. Imagine. And for me, it was like, oh my gosh. Um, and your stomach. Ins and outs, yes, you know, and it was, like that. Yeah, exactly. So for me, it was that thing of uh, where, do, what kind of homes do these people come from? Mm -hmm. Really, mm -hmm. <laughs> I also could say that I lived in a very closed box at the time. Oh yeah. So um, that was another culture shock. I mean, because for me, I thought you no, know, because we're we're Africans, especially mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. cover up, you dress um, in a very decent manner, you don't mm -hmm. show too much because then decent. that invites. I like yeah. the word decent, but that's yeah. according to your criteria of decency. Yes, All yes, right. according to my okay, criteria. Okay, thank you so much, Refilo. But now, let's fast forward uh, uh, from that. Yeah. Landing into the UFS uh, libraries. Mm. Can you just briefly give us a journey? Okay, so um, my journey is one that I would say is very different. I actually didn't even think I would end up in the library mm -hmm. because um, I'd been studying something else. And then um, I was I was studying B admin to oh, get yeah? into BCom, actually. Okay. And then um, that didn't work out, unfortunately. Then um, on my on my journey to study something else, I then decided, you know what? I actually want to, I'm, I'm, I'm going more towards BA and I actually mm -hmm. wanted to study international relations. Oh, yeah. Once I had started, funny enough, once I had started studying BA international relations, this is now what I wanted to study, not mm -hmm. what I was, was chosen for me by my family. Oh yeah. <laughs> because the first degree was, was chosen by them and then that didn't work out. So I thought eventually when I was able to actually um, finance myself, then BA, came along. Mm -hmm. Within that very first year that I started studying BA International Relations, um, that's when I actually got the call from the institution to oh, come yeah. and work here. Because I was in a time um, where I, I also had to finance my, my own studies and things weren't working out. I was in between jobs at the time. Mm -hmm. And then 
um, the university called me in. And I think the reason why they called me in was because they had noticed that I had been volunteering a lot here at the institution. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So I didn't just start at the library, actually. I'd, I'd been volunteering a lot at Student Affairs. Oh, and yeah. they knew me from oh, yeah. there. Yeah. Then um, I came to the interview and I must be very honest, I actually didn't think I'd get it because mm -hmm. the other candidates looked way more confident than I looked. <laughs> <laughs> they even, they just seemed more confident. Mm -hmm. So when I left, I already knew personally that, okay, oh, yeah. you know what? I don't think they're going to call back. They must just take it. Yes, <laughs> yes. And then they called. And I remember the day I got the call um, from the lady at admin. I even asked her to repeat what she just said because mm -hmm. I wasn't... I wasn't sure. Like it oh, wasn't yeah. sinking in. It's like no, um, the, the 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 vacancy that you applied for, you actually got, yeah, it. got it. Okay. Oh yeah. Then um, I came and I remember I was the, the first week when I actually had to get um, uh, what is the word initiated into the like onboarding onboarding. Stuff, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. Mr. Lee was actually my onboarding buddy. I don't know if he's here. Yeah, yeah but he was actually my onboarding buddy oh, yeah. and was showing me around campus. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, oh, I know campus, but gay, okay, it's fine. I'll, yeah. I'll act like I don't. <laughs> and then um, I eventually got placed at the Frick Scott's Medical Library, mm -hmm. um, where uh, my amazing boss, Anna Marie, Miss, Mrs. Anna Marie Dupria, showed me around and um, started, you know, mentor, I would say mentoring me in, in the library. Uh, as well as my other colleague who isn't here right now, mm -hmm. Mepulani Masila, who's, oh, yeah. who left at the library. And Mal Malifu joined us after. Yeah, Malifu joined us like a year later. Mm -hmm. but she was already here, but she just joined us at that library later. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, oh, and Elma. You see, now I'm mentioning all my colleagues from <laughs> mentioning all my yeah. former colleague, in fact, mm -hmm. Alma. I'm a fan of mm -hmm. So I was placed there and the journey has really been amazing. Um, I've learned so much from all of my colleagues. And I think what I had mentioned before was the fact that I didn't even see myself here. But oh, yeah. now that I'm here, I've met such beautiful people, amazing people. And what I love about this journey is the fact that there's always more learning to do. Mm -hmm. You always learn yeah. something new. That's your library for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think I love that that Libraries about the environment. Yes. <laughs> so I'm currently at the circulations. Um, and one highlight actually that I, I really love about working at the circulations desk at this moment is the kind mm -hmm. of people I meet on a daily Every basis. Day. Yes. 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 No situation is always the same. Mm. Um, students teach you so much. You know, we think that we teach students things. They think teach that we us. Know. Yeah, yeah, we think yeah. we know everything, but they teach us things too. You know, mm. um, and you see this at the end of the year when they graduate and then they come back to the library mm. and they say, thank you, you helped me this one time for this and this and this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and that, yeah. by that time, you don't even remember anymore because, I mean... You see so many people all Every the time. Day, yes. um, and some of them, you even form friendships with them and, you know, their lives exactly. get knitted into yours somewhere along the line. So it's such a beautiful journey. Um, and even the staff members. Mm. Um, I, I, I underlined your first <laughs> line. You have an amazing boss. I underlined amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I think, and I also want to tie that into... I underlined <laughs> I want to tie that into... Um, as just generally as staff members, mm -hmm. it, it really helps when you make someone else's life easier at work. Of course. Um, yeah, yeah, because I know we all have challenges, we all have situations, but at the end of the day, we're all on one team trying to um, accomplish Achieve one, yeah, goal, one yeah. goal. So, <laughs> <Ta -da. laughs> didn't see that coming. <laughs> staff members that we have mm -hmm. has been a really amazing journey and just the library in itself. Mm -hmm. I went to the Liasa conference last year for the very first time. Mm -hmm. Um, and that opportunity also um, was presented through the coffee talks, actually. Um, yes, I wanted to come to that. Yeah. Uh, tell us a bit about, give us a background of the, your coffee talks. Okay, so initially, um, the coffee talks was an idea that was presented by Anna Marie Dupre. Amazing boss. Okay. Amazing boss, yes. <laughs> And then um, she came to me and she told me about the, the whole project, how she would like to have like conversations with different health professionals. Mm -hmm. And then she asked me to be the host of the project. Mm -hmm. And of course, I thought, yeah, let's do this because it yeah. sounds fun. Mm -hmm. um, and then when it started, you know, I started off very nervous because I thought, what if I mess this up? <laughs> My goodness, what are all these professors and these doctors going to say? Mm -hmm. You bring us an amateur, but you work Ooh. in the library. What is that? <laughs> But yeah. then um, as time went by, um, it's been going very, very mm. well. Actually, I, I'd really like to 
this is a humble brag, guys. Um, but I mean, we can all take one for the team because we're one team. I think that um, as one of the, just part of all the other projects that we do at the library, mm -hmm. the Coffee Talks have been one of the ones that really, really get a, like a huge interest from the students. Um, and it actually draws them in. I would think in. because the topics covered there are, mm. are, are around health issues. Yes. So th this fits to, to all of uh, community mm. members. Even myself, I learn a lot yeah. from different topics every time. So you're always looking forward mm. for the next topic. Yeah. So tell us, what's your next topic? Uh, <laughs> our next topic is on women and um, all the stages that they undergo, basically. So women who've, who've undergone or are undergoing menopause, mm -hmm. um, we're going to be discussing... Why um, did you start with menopause? What, what else? It's the first thing what that came to mind. What before? can I say? That's <laughs> um, somewhere, then you go <laughs> Okay, let's start basically with yeah. um, the journey of womanhood, rather. Correct. Um, being a teenager mm -hmm. and changing and, and journeying into womanhood yes, um, yes, from your teens into your Growing mid twenties and further up Lovely. yeah and further on yeah interesting thank you so much our dear coffee lady ladies and gentlemen a hand of applause <laughs>